guys uh, i hope all is well and then in today's video we're gonna be talking about the entries that we have in this strategy of which the risk entry is at the top of the structure i'm just drawing an example and then i'll show you on the live chats so let's say the market is moving in this type of fashion whereby you get corrective moves then you get an impulse then you get a corrective move around this point and then you get like an impulse so at the top of the structure like on the third touch that is where you take the risk entry around this point here just because we have the first touch the second touch and then on the third touch you take the risk entry and then you take the risk entry with a confirmed candlestick override let's say the one hour override or uh, you can call it an engulfing candlestick pattern and then you take the risk entry at the top of the structure just like this the stop loss is just above let's say it's in line with the higher time frame whereby you have that mass psychology activation around this point here and then you take this out from this point as a risk entry and then second entry that we have we have the low risk entry of which you wait for the market to show its hand and then you take the entry so you wait for a clear push to the downside, just like this. And then you wait for that six to eight hour tight flag. And then the reason you wait for the six to eight hours, you wait on the one hour chart. And then six candles, after the six candles have completed, and then you see that they are flat, then that is when you can draw out like your overall tight flag, just like this. And then you place your sell stop just below sell stop. Not a market execution, but a sell stop. And then your stop loss is just above this point here. And then you are targeting the lows just around this point here. And then with management, when you're managing your trade, you just wait for the impulse to the downside. And then let's say we have this as our area of which the market can just tap this area and then decide to push back to the upside. So that is when you can move your stop loss to break even after you get like a clear push to the downside. And then those entries that I'm talking about, they happen each and every time. And then this is the green zone around this point. And then this is the amber zone around this area here, whereby we get uh, tight flags and larger flags at the same time. So you can get like a clear push to the downside as you took like a low risk entry and then you get a push to the downside. And then it happens that the market will create another tight flag around this point, six to eight hours. After six hours, then you can just draw out like the overall tight flag just like this. And then that is when you can place yourself just below as a self stop. And then let's say on this example, you get tagged in and then the market decides to push back to the upside. Knowing that you wait for the market to clearly push to the downside and then move to break even, then you are tagged out of break even. Then that is when you can just wait for that larger flag just because we are on the amber zone, just like this. And then this is where you take your risk entry. This is an expanding pattern. Then the risk entry comes up to this area here. You wait for that uh, one hour candle retracement and then your stop loss is just above. And then you're still targeting the lose just like this so these are the entries that we use and then i'll show you on the live charts and now for the live chat examples we have euro usd and then on the daily as you can see here we are at the top of the structure of which we have that mass psychology activation at the top and then i'll create i'll make a video on that mass psychology activation uh, concept so that you can just understand uh, what's going on around this area here so let me put the 90 percent also so on the hour that is where we look for entries if you are trying to swing all your trades this is where we look for those entries so as you can see back to the daily chart we have the overall mass psychology activation and then we have this ascending channel of which it's not nice but as you can see at the bottom of the structure I was catering for these touches around this point here, of which uh, 
the market is still intact and then we have the ascending channel and then we have this ascending channel within ascending and then back to the hour chart looking at the hour that is that is where we look for those entries i'm gonna start with a risk entry of which the risk entry is around this point here this is where you look for the risk entry and and as i said you look for candlestick confirmations so as you can see here we had this push to the upside around here and then we had the weak rejection and then we had this green candle followed by the red candle of which it engulfs each and every momentum that we had on that green candle so that is the entry type that we look for and then you wait for this candle the red candle to close then you take the sell the stop loss is just above this point here so that is how you take the risk entry and then you're targeting the lows as you can see after we get that push to the downside that is when you move your stop loss to break even and then on this one you could have been uh in a nice trade as you can see it impulsively pushed to the downside so let me just do this and then talking about the low risk entry or the tight flag entry as you can see we have some type of a tight flag around this point and then sometimes you will get like a uh, price action looking like this and then moving to the 15 minute that is where we always refine like our entries and then on the 15 minute you will see a clear push to the downside of which is this one here push to the downside corrective move push to the downside and then that is when we have that tight flag around this point here yeah. let me just cater for it so this is where we have the tight flag as you can see it's flat and then it's like this and then this is where you take the sell just below sell stop depending order and then your stop loss can be above this area or can be just below this area and then you are targeting the lows as you can see that's still a good trade and then whenever it impulses to the downside and then that is when you can move your stop loss to break even or what you can do is that you can just wait for the market to reach let's say one percent and then that is when you can move your stop loss to break even as you can see if you moved at break even at around one percent profits you would have been still in the trade you would be still in a good trade as you can see here and then that is how i refine like my entries on the 15 minute and then back to the hour chart we have some type of a tight flag or a larger flag as you can see around this point after the break of this overall ascending channel around here that is when we got the tight flag but as you can see here if you place like yourself at the top of the structure you'll see that we are using a large stop loss some of you can take like this type of uh, trade but some uh, people don't prefer like taking larger stops like this and then what you can do you look inside the trend i'll remove this red line here and then back to the 15 minute that is where we refine all the time as i said and let me just do this so on the 15 minute we look for those uh retracement candles they still work on the 15 minute as you can see let me just put them correctly and then we are following the trend as you can see push to the downside corrective move and then we push to the downside and then we have the green candle followed by a, an engulfing candlestick of which is this red candle which has like a lot of momentum and then you wait for the candle to close and then you place yourself after it loses and then your stop loss can be just above this point here can be just above this area as you can see and then you are targeting the lows back to the hour chart then you're targeting the low the lows just like this and then getting to the risk entry on the amber zone as you can see here we had the tight flag around this point here and then if you count like the candlesticks you'll see that it's more than six hours or eight hours as you can see here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine hours then you place your entry but after six hours then that is when you can place the sell and then your stop loss is just above here and then let's say you use like the same scenario that we talked about whereby you move your stop loss to break even at one percent as you can see around here you move your stop loss after one percent you are still in the trade as you can see 
and then you get tagged out around this point here around this candlestick pattern around there then that is when you can just evolve the overall structure and then i'll make a video on how to evolve like your patterns then you evolve the structure just like this as you can see we have an expanding pattern going on and then we have this as our top of the structure and then as you can see we didn't get like an entry on this uh, type of scenario and then moving to the 15 minute where we refine let's see if we can have like an entry so we didn't get like any entry just because each and every entry that we were going to take around here it means that we have to have like a larger stop for us to stay into this uh, nice trade then back to the hour so this is what you do each and every time when you're taking like trades you go to the 15 minute the one hour chart the five minute if you are into refining like all your entries but in this scenario here i don't think anyone could have taken like an entry just because let's say we have this nice in, uh, engulfing candlestick pattern around this point here and then you take your sell after the close of which your stop loss has to be like this and then let's say you are into this uh, messy trade and then you are aiming at around two percent and then you are risking 61 pips for about two percent of which is not okay so that is it for today's video i hope you understood like each and every entry type entry type that i take and then yeah i'll see you on another video and then if you didn't understand you can just drop a comment of where you didn't understand and then i'll try to explain